Good day and I love you. Welcome to your daily dose for Thursday, July 27th. All is well with our souls. It really is. It's helpful to say that too. It's helpful to hear it, isn't it? It's going to be okay. <laughs> with that, the topic for today that I want to talk about is... I've had the question posed to me twice yesterday. I have this going on. I have that going on. Can I still lift weights? The answer is yes, emphatically. But what about, no, yes. But what if I have yes? But even if yes, yes, and yes, the answer is you can always lift weights. You can always train. You can always exercise in a way that is beneficial for your body, your biology, and what's going on with you at the time. So I tore my ACL, some I remember gnosis and tendinosis off the bone, like pop, we heard them. And I couldn't walk. I literally couldn't walk. But as I knew I could heal and I wasn't willing to have surgery or any kind of shots or any kind of medications or any kind of anything, I did take ibuprofen. Um, I understood that the process was going to take a while and it was not going to be super easy, but I just had to find the right cocktail of modalities that worked for me. Obviously, I wasn't going to be able to squat, but I could lay on my back and engage my quad muscles and start sending those electronic impulses through the muscles that carry the message to my ACL and through my knee and on into the muscles and the ligaments and the tendons down into my shin. I could start talking to that highway and letting it increase conductivity, uh, communication, and circulation, and energy. The body is kinetic, so we don't ever want to just lay down and stop training. That's about the worst thing you can possibly do. When I hurt my back in, um, I think it was 2015, I was told I was going to have to have back surgery and be on my back for three months. I said, thank you. And I went home to start healing myself. I was at the gym the next day. I did all of my training supine and prone and removed gravity, which means I laid on my back and I laid on my stomach and I removed the pull that was pulling on my spine and compressing the vertebrae and giving me the bulging disc issue. So I continued to train through that and I healed that as well. Um, I have several cases like this and several instances where I've worked with clients. So depending on what's going on with you today, we simply have to find the perfect potion to give you the correct motion to help you heal your body. So I don't ever want anyone to worry that like, oh, I'm experiencing this. I'm not going to be able to do this. No, 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 no. You're experiencing this physical dynamic because spirit is talking to you through your almighty vessel. That's your communication beacon. You get this beautiful skin suit that is bioconductive, super transmitting, super receiving, capable beyond your wildest measure, right? And so when something is going wrong or something is off or there is dis-ease in your physical vessel, we simply need to find out what circulatory, what energetic, what biological system is being affected and then we can sort of reverse engineer, bring you the help and the healing and the love that you need to that system, those organs, those body parts, and we can implement the healing. So you can always heal from whatever's going on with you. Um